Sega. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Weber from Sega, joined today by... I'm Kelly Parker, also from Sega. We are going to show you guys a little sneak peek at Yakuza Dead Souls, which comes out this March 13th for the PlayStation 3. What we're looking at right now is karaoke, and Yakuza, as some of you may know, is really famous for all of its extra mini-games, its side missions. This is one of them, and it's one of our favorites. I think the karaoke is absolutely hilarious, and uh, I'm excited to show it to you guys, mostly because it's a pirate costume. Check it out. So these are extra costumes you can get when you pre-order the game at GameStop. It's one of the DLC bonuses. But the best thing is that the costumes will transfer into all of the mini-games you do, including karaoke. So right now, this is me playing. I'm trying to hit these buttons as best as I can, but uh, please don't judge me if I miss a few. Um, and then, of course, you can sing along if you know Japanese or can try to pronounce Japanese in English. I am judging you right now. Don't judge me, Kelly. That's just mean. So the other thing that I would love to point out is this cat that's in the upper right-hand side. Uh, he has headphones on. However, the headphones are not over his ears. Well, yeah, but cats have really amazing hearing. And so I think if he put the headphones on his ears, he'd probably just go deaf. It'd be really loud. It would be difficult to put them over the ears, but nonetheless, there they are. Also, the headphones are not connected to anything, which I also find bizarre. It's, it's a style choice, you know. Very happy cat. Oh, oh, here it is. So when you do well enough in karaoke, and the cat is all happy like that, it triggers a bonus cutscene. And the cutscene also remembers the costume you have on, which leads to this glorious, magnificent cutscene right here. Oh, Majima. Backup dancers are really good. They are all in sync. They are, they are. I'm getting these buttons down pretty well, too. There we go. It's nope. like a whole like Madonna Vogue thing happening. Yeah, a little bit. I just, I love how amazingly ridiculous this moment is in a series there it is. Like, like that. The classiest dance move I've ever seen. It fits Majima so perfectly. If you know his character, you know he's just completely crazy. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Love the pyramid there. Here they go. Yeah, really get into it now. Serious face, too. Yes. This is glorious. Curious about that spiral. So I challenge you to find any other video game that has ever done this before to quite this quality with a man in a pirate jazz suit hands. and an eye patch. Go and jazz yeah, hands. Jazz hands. And then, then that, like, he's so serious. This is the most important performance of his life right there, and he just nailed it. God bless you, Majima. Now we get ranked. These little animals give us a score, and... Hippo, what was that, dude? 150? Hippo's a jerk. What a jerk. Cat, elephant, you guys are cool. We'll go chill later. Hippo, you're not invited. So that's it for, uh, for karaoke. They call us now, and they tell us, Hey, man, your time's up. So just like real karaoke in Japan, you can say, I'd like to extend my time, or, okay, I'm good. Given that we are uh, running around in a pirate suit, I guess we'll go explore some of the rest yeah. of the city. I think it's time to run around the city in a pirate suit, and absolutely nobody thinks that's odd. Yeah, it's Tokyo. Weird things happen all the time. People in maid outfits, pirate costumes. This is the massage parlor called Love and Heart. The massage parlor is uh, something that fans will recognize, I'm sure. It's one of the more awkward mini games I've ever had to demo in my life. In fact, of every video game I have ever demoed, I think demoing this and demoing the ping pong, the table tennis, from, from also from Yakuza, probably the two most slightly awkward moments when I realize the whole room is staring at me as I'm trying to demo and explain how great this game is. And also there's this really kind of crazy mini game, but we're about to take a look at it. This is the standard massage. Still in our pirate suit. Because everybody wears a pirate suit to get a massage. And why not? I right? do. So Majima waits a bit. Here comes the therapist. Oh my god, there's a man in a pirate suit in my massage parlor. So here we go, we're starting the minigame. The way this works is that we have to try and get that little ring on the right up into the pink there, as high as we can, and the higher it goes, the more points we earn at a faster rate. Problem is, that thing will glow colors. See how it goes blue like that? That means it's about to drop a little bit. So by pushing the circle button, I take it up. By pushing the X button, I bring it down. And I kind of have to mash the buttons to get it to move. But if we go too low, we lose the game. And if we go too high, we also lose the game. So the trick is, push yourself all the way to the limit, but don't go over the... Oh, jeez, what Crazy was that? Mouth. So that's the thing, too. While you're playing this, you really have to focus on the meter and not on the girl, which is difficult to do when she's making these insane, crazy faces, crossing her eyes and weird, creepy mouth. Yeah, and these, these camera angles, I have to say, also not the most productive for wandering eyes. 
Like you're trying to focus on the right there and the scenes like this and then suddenly oh, And that, then that happens. Oh, oh yeah, all right. So you can see the points I'm earning here a little bit faster. Let's go. Oh, going blue, so it's going to drop. And I have to try and flap the wings to get back up there. And the more points we earn at the end, the higher the rank we get. But that is essentially the, the trick of this game. Sort of like how table tennis is uh, zoom in and stare at certain things while the ball is flying between you two. This one is try and keep this little ring as high as you can without focusing on her at all. And the fact that she just crazy crossed her eyes for <laughs> no reason. Yeah, that's just a little weird too, it's I suppose. It's truly frightening. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little different. So we're going to jump into the second level. This is like the deluxe massage right now. And in the deluxe, she's dressed up a little bit nicer than last time. And we're becoming a regular at the club and we get that little stamp card. Now, as we progress on the stamp card, we get access to like the VIP massage. And you'll notice that she has less clothes on when we get to that. But we'll, we'll see that in just a minute. So here we go with the uh, deluxe massage. Creepy face. Very creepy. You know, these subtitles, if you just look at the subtitles and you don't, like, it's just, I don't know. I, don't get it's me wrong. It's quite suggestive. I am really proud of our M rating, and I just wanted to get that out there. We have at least six descriptors. Which we thoroughly earned them, too. I, I view each six of those as, like, a badge of honor. But yeah, there's some, some kind of awkward slash suggestive moments i i gotta say that's why i do love the yakuza series is because they're not afraid to go do those really crazy things you do not find in other video games so i appreciate that this is probably an awkward mini game to play with your parents in the room just gonna say hmm are you sure you're feeling okay she says oh no you're really warm let me feel your forehead. Thanks. That's that's a little weird, I think, personally. Yeah, no. A little strange. There we go. You remember, you remember this feel, one? Feeling it. There it yep, is. Yep, yep. Rocking in the points, though. You can get here. No. This, this Speaking part. Speaking of awkward moments. Totally not suggestive at all. You move nope. the left and the right thumbsticks in Just clockwise and counterclockwise motion. Happen to be right over that hey, area hey, of the body. What a coincidence, right? Check this out. Course, satisfaction, and happy, happy ending, ending bonus. bonus. Just in case you thought it might be on accident, it's not. Now we're going to show you what happens when you fail because it's it's just awesome. Oh no! Oh, crying too far. baby. So you go too far to one extreme or the other and babies appear. It's just terrible. <laughs> Yakuza, parable for life. And if you get too relaxed... Sleeping oh, baby. Cute little sleeping baby. Here's, a, here's the uh, the super VIP here, or at least the VIP. You can notice she's got uh, far less clothes on at this point. Almost lost it there. There was almost a crying baby in this scene. Relax, you're in good hands. Kelly, you're supposed to make a joke there. I, <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, I was holding. Oh back. no! Oh, crying baby. Crying baby. See, that's what happens. You relax. Crying baby. I, no, I got two tents. Oh. Ah, here we go. So speaking of things that, that are pretty awesome, this is Kazuma Kiryu in his alternate outfit, which is the U.S. flag t-shirt. I mean, if you're going to play baseball, you better wear the U.S. You flag gotta shirt. You got to do it so. in the U.S. flag shirt, right? The true all-American sport that is more popular in Japan than in America. It's funny how that works sometimes. There we go. Home run. I have to say I appreciate the fact that Kazuma Kiryu, for all of the things he's done in his life, can still go to the batting field and just nail home run after home run. This dude is a beast. Better than Chuck Norris, I think. Except for that one. Uh, uh, that was my fault. Sorry, Kiryu. That was my bad, dude. A little early. We're going to get this next one. I promise. There it is. Home run. All right. And that's how baseball works. I mean, it's, it's kind of simple. Relatively easy it to understand. It works like baseball, it's shockingly like, enough. It's like baseball. Dude throws the ball at you. You hit it. You get home runs. Now, as you progress, though, uh, the screens become a little more interesting than just saying home run. One of them, for example, might be like a black and white picture of a sexy woman in a bathing suit. I don't know. And as you hit certain parts of the screen, you get the color back to that picture. So lots of very manly things like that. In case baseball is not your speed, you can also uh, see some video games in there, like Virtua Fighter Five. Yeah, very cool. The cabinet is almost like a recreation of the real cabinet. And you're not going to play VF5 in Yakuza as sort of like a metagame. 
need to go support the actual game for that, guys. Get out there and download it when it comes out. But these arcade cabinets here that say Blast City, that's actually what they look like in like the Club Segas over in Tokyo. They look just like that. So that is our special little preview at some of the mini-games of Yakuza Dead Souls with bonus costumes. Hurrah! Next, we invite you to join us as we take a look at what not to say in a hostess club.